Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record PC gameplay and all of that good junk. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to remove the Bandicam uh, watermark. Ooh, nice little transition back there for you guys. I think you're special. Alright, so here's the first three programs you can use. Hypercam 2. Do not recommend it. That one is garbage. But you can use it if you know how to use it. Uh, it has a very bad frame rate problem. It'll play it back faster. Then it'll be on the last frame and you'll be talking through the whole thing. So I do not recommend using it. It is not good at all. The next one is Bandicam, which I'm using to record right now. As you can see, I removed the watermark up here because the screen is split a little bit because I had to get rid of this watermark up in this area. You know. So. Uh, yeah, that one, it records, Bandicam right here records, it'll record Minecraft, it will record, uh, what else will it record, it will record Minecraft, it'll record, god, it'll record a lot, Minecraft, I'm trying to go through my head, it'll record Minecraft, TF2, all of that, games, all the Steam games and whatnot. Uh, full versions like $32 one time fee and then the second one is fraps fraps will not record desktop it'll only record games such as minecraft team fortress 2 stuff like that you're gonna want to have a better computer to run fraps so like not a very good computer but you're gonna need a pretty decent computer because it has uh, the frame rate stuff so you're gonna want to have a good computer to run fraps bandicam you do not need a good computer at all trust me I don't have a good computer and I can use it fine uh, yeah, it works really good. It also records desktop, as you can see, I'm using it right now to record this. Hypercam 2 only records desktop. It will record games, but it's not very good. So that one is pretty much garbage. I do not recommend Hypercam at all. Bandicam, I do, however, recommend, but you're going to want to buy the full version for that. Fraps also is one that I recommend. Fraps and Bandicam are beautiful. Work very nice. Bandicam works a little better if you don't have that great of a computer. But if you have a really good computer, Fraps is definitely the option you're going to want to go with. Both of them are around $30 on the internet, USD. <clears throat> so I definitely recommend getting them. So that's how to record PC game for it, gameplay, which is the first version of this. Now we're going to be focusing on Bandicam. Because Bandicam is the one I record with, and a lot of people are trying to record with Bandicam, which is the free version. In the free version, you can only record 10 minutes at a time. And there's no cracks out there currently for Bandicam. So you're not going to find one. So if you want to do a little bit of eye trickery to people, and you want to record some Minecraft gameplay, say Minecraft, we'll just say Minecraft because we can, or any other gameplay, I'm not going to be showing you Minecraft, I'm going to be showing you something else. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have Sony Vegas Platinum Movie Studio, whatever I have, Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum Pro 11, which is the newest version of it, I think. I think there's a newer, but I'm not too sure. So you're going to want to have that version, and you're going, or it doesn't matter what version, you can have any version of Sony Vegas, and then you're also going to want to have something recorded in Bandicam. For you, it's probably going to be Minecraft, or TF2, whatever, uh, something in browser mostly, something that has small, that you can keep small, because you're not going to be able to record full screen and get rid of the watermark. Alright, so we'll show you how. We're going to open up Sony Vegas right here. Sorry, it's a little cut off. I can make it a little smaller, I think. Maybe if I scoot this down a bit. There we go. Alright, let me just make it a little bigger. Like so. Alright, so basically what you're going to want to do... Hang on one second. Let me just make this bigger. So it fits the screen. Alright, so this is how you are going to see it when you first put it in. Basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up... Say Minecraft. We'll say Minecraft. We will say... Say Minecraft. Come on, come on if it wants to open alright you're gonna wanna record outside the boundary you're not gonna wanna record inside make it scale you're gonna wanna record outside of it and then you're going to want to press record like that and then you're gonna bring it into movie studio and you're gonna go on the side of it and it's gonna be a crop symbol and you're gonna go to that you're gonna click it and it's gonna come up with this all you're gonna need to do now is you're gonna need to resize it so that it fits around it and the watermark will be completely gone and then you also are going to want to do this, and you could make it bigger, you can make it smaller, yada, 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 to fit it in there where you want it to. So perfect, there you go, you got the watermark disappeared, and it looks like you have the regular version of Bandicam. So, hope this helped you record PC gameplay. Uh, any of these three programs will help you out, and I hope this also helped you remove the watermark from Bandicam. I hope this helped, guys. I will see you all later.